Greetings, family. Sister Shanice in the house. Welcome to African World Affairs. This is the news channel that brings you news, reviews and information from an African-centered perspective. We focus on news and information that we think uh, our people as Africans are more likely to be interested in because why? Quite often the mainstream media tends to overlook or maybe not actually look at all at issues from our perspective. So, the news today that I've got for you is going to be going to Gabon, uh, the wife of the former Gabon president, Ali Bongo, has been jailed. Yes, uh, Sylvia Bongo, who has been under house arrest uh, since the coup in Gabon, was actually sent to jail, according to her lawyer. Sylvia Bongo Ondimba Valentin is suspected of, alleg of allegedly embezzling public funds. And she was jailed late on Wednesday, her lawyer Francois Zimmeret told AFP, condemning the decision, he said, as an arbitrary illegal procedure. Bongo's wife was charged on September 28 with money laundering, forgery and falsification of records. Sylvia Bongo has been under house arrest in the capital Libreville since the August 10, since the August 30th coup. And uh, this actually brought the curtain down to 55 years of Bongo dynasty rule. The interim presidential leaders of Gabon allege the former head of state and his entourage falsified the election results. They accuse Sylvia Bongo and her son, Noridin Bongo Valentin, of manipulating the former president, who has not fully recovered from a serious stroke in 2018. They say the two have effectively run the oil-rich country for the past five years and have misused public money. Noruddin Bongo Valentin has been placed in detention since the coup, charged with corruption. We condemn this illegal procedure, said the lawyer Zumare. There is a difference, he continues, between justice and arbitrary actions, between the law and revenge. The public prosecutor of Liverville has not yet responded to an AFP request for comment. Bongo, age 64, who had ruled the century, who had ruled the Central African country since 2009, was overthrown by military leaders moments after being proclaimed the winner, again in a presidential election. Many saw uh, the overthrowing act as one of liberation rather than a military coup. Ali Bongo was elected after his father Omar died in 2009 after nearly 42 years in power. Gabon is Africa's third richest nation in terms of per capita GDP, but one in three people actually live below the poverty line. This is according to the World Bank. On the streets of the Gabonese capital, Libreville, there was positive reaction by some to the news that Sylvia Bongo had been imprisoned. According to Judith Malvu Zamba, she said, I prefer she stays there for life. Why am I saying this? Because they made the Gabonese people suffer too much. We're suffering, she said, and we're having a hard time. And the money was hidden from them. Retired Liberville press, uh, resident, Bitigu by Mbong agreed. While Sylvia Bongo is under arrest, he said, we need to recover all the money they and their family stole over 60 years, he said. We're poor because of it. We only have 2 million inhabitants and look how poor the country is because of one family. It is widely known that corruption has been widespread in African country for decades. Since the assassination and overthrowing of the late 1950s, early 60s revolutionary freedom fighters, 
most African countries were replaced with colonial puppets who have had free reign to loot public funds and deprive their populations. Between them, these post-colonial corrupt officials have sunk African countries into a state of abject poverty. So instead of looking after their citizens and the interests of their country, these corrupt leaders turn a blind eye whilst their country is exploited by foreign so-called investors for its minerals and resources. And while corrupt individuals with political power enjoy a lavish lifestyle, millions of Africans are deprived of the public, of the basic needs that they need, like homegrown food, local health care provision, relevant education, housing, access to clean water and sanitation. Such high level of corruption in Africa creates and increases poverty and exclusion, contributing considerably to political instability, public distrust of the government and the economic failure of the African continent. So this cleanup operation that's happening in Gabon is long overdue, it seems. Corrupt officials, not just in Gabon, but in many African countries, need to be investigated. It's time for leaders who have been able to, to reign in a corrupted manner with impunity, it's time for that to stop. Most of us witnessed on social media the recovery of suitcases packed with money, allegedly found in the house of Yan Ngulu, chief of staff to the Nuruddin Bongo, the eldest son of the deposed president Bongo. What's him doing with so much money packed up in so many suitcases in his house? That money should be in the bank. That money ought to have been getting used to provide services to the local people, for housing, for, for agriculture, for education, for healthcare provision. But instead, it pack up in a suitcase in the home of Yang Ngulu on behalf of Nuruddin Bongo, it seems. Well, it's time for change. So let's allow the investigation process to take its course and those responsible for corruption to face the criminal process whilst their people suffer in abject poverty. They seem to have had no care, no loyalty, and no consideration to their people. Family, it's time for change. It's time for such leaders to step aside and allow those who have the interest of their country to step forward. What do you think? How should African government with corrupt leaders treat their leaders? Should there be a due process, one that involves steps and investigations that will bring about uh, the full weight of the law against those who are corrupt? What more can be done to stop the level of corruption that too many African countries actually experience on a day-to-day -day basis. I look forward to your comments in the comments section. Family, if you're not already a subscriber to this channel, please do subscribe. Sister Shanice, out of here for now.